Hi everyone, nowadays GraphQL is high demanded API standard technology that provides flexibility for app developers to retrieve the data what they are exactly looking for. Due to the flexibility of developer convenience, it is very important to have a middle layer to provide secured, controlled and monitored environment for these APIs. WS2 API Manager newer version provides the facility for you and this video will quickly teach you how we can expose GraphQL API through WS2 API Manager 3.0 as a managed API. Here I am going to consider a simple use case. Let's look at this diagram. I have two users, Mark who is an API developer and Jane who is an app developer and she has been given the manager role and necessary permission to subscribe APIs. So Mark has SDL definition of the country's API which includes set of operations and he needs to expose this API adding few rules. So first rule is for continuous operation which needs to be authorized only for managers and second rule is for restricted in location count to one request per minute and third rule is for languages operation this operation should be accessible for everyone even without a token meantime chain has three different requirements to invoke that api using three queries according to the use case there are two objectives for this video one is to learn how to expose this country's API according to the marks rule. Now I am going to show you the quick demo of it. I will log in with marks credential now. Now I am creating GraphQL API importing the SDL definition of country's API. Click next. Now I am adding the basic details of API. Now you can see all the operations have been listed at the overview page and the import STL file is available here to download. Let's navigate to operation page. This is where the place that I am able to add operational level authorization, rate limiting and security. I have created a new scope called continence. So according to the uh, marks rule, I am adding this created the scope to continence operation. And uh, after I select the rate limit into operational level and add that uh, required policy call one request per minute to continence operation. And I am disabling the uh, security for languages. Click save. Now I am going to uh, publish the API. So as REST APIs, GraphQL APIs are also eligible to do various kind of functionalities like lifecycle management, versioning, monetization, documentation and etc. Now you can see uh, APIs in a published state. Let's go to the developer portal to check whether that uh, published API is available there. We can see the API. Therefore, our first objective is completed. So second objective is to identify what kind of invocation flaws that chain can follow to fulfill her three requirements based on the rules enforced by Mark. As first requirement, Jane needs to retrieve code name of all languages. When Jane is trying to invoke the API without token, the request get uh, successful as the languages has been disabled the security. So as the second requirement, Jane needs to retrieve name of all countries called name of all languages in each of that country. When Jane is trying to invoke the API without token, the request will fail as the country's operation has been enabled the security. So the request gets successful when providing the required credentials. As third requirement, Jane needs to retrieve the name of all continents, name of all countries in each of the continent and code name of all languages of each country. So when Jane is trying to invoke the API without a token with continence scope, the request will fail. When invoke the API using the token with continence scope, the request will get successful. 
so when send in the next request uh, with the one minute time period the request will total out according to the total policy defined for continence operation also gen can't invoke the api without manager role permissions now i'm going to fulfill the change requirement i will uh, log in with the change credentials now Jane is able to download the schema definition file here and also able to see all the operation names that are available for querying. When click on the test, the tryout console will be populated to try out queries. So in order to fulfill the first requirement, I am adding the query payload to here. click execute now you can see it has retrieved the details what we asked for query a second requirement to retrieve the country's details along with the languages details we need to generate token as country's operation has the security i am navigating to credential page and subscribe to the api with a new application to generate a token I have added the basic details of app and click next and uh, generate the token and I have copied the token and paste it in access token field at here. Now the response gives the details what I requested. To fulfill the third requirement, we need to regenerate the token with continence scope. Go back to the uh, credential page and click manage app and generate the token with adding continence scope. I have copied the token and pasted it in tryout console. And my third query is this one which can retrieve the continents details along with the con countries and languages details and click execute now you can see it retrieve the continents details when we send the second request the request gets throttled out now uh, you have an idea about all the scenarios that Jane can be tried out and what kind of invocation force that she needs to follow. So I hope you understood the how we can expose GraphQL services as a managed API via WS2 API 3.0. Thank you.